roller coaster of weather week. We're getting some warmer temperatures with Passover starting tomorrow and Easter next week. Your palate might be ready for lighter items when it comes to food and for drink as well. Certified wine expert Juan Breitstein joins us now and he has some wine picks for spring. So thanks so much for coming in. Oh, sure. Great to be here. Great to be here. So tell me what makes a wine a spring wine? Well, usually when the weather starts to get a little warmer, like a day like today, you want to have something a little bit lighter during the winter. We tend to drink heavier uh, red wines, maybe bolder Chardonnays for white wines. And when right. the weather gets nice, you want to drink something a little bit lighter, fruitier, fresher, kind of, you know, get a little spring in the step, so to speak. Right. Kind of goes better with some of the spring menus, too, exactly. I would think. Lighter Definitely. food, too. Yes. So what do you have for us today? You have a variety, I see, from rosé over to red. Yeah, well, the first one we have is a rosé from... Okay. Beaujolais in France. Mm -hmm. uh, it's from Louis Jadot. It's uh, the first time that this has been uh, here in this country for a long time, but uh, rosés are kind of the in thing. When you go to restaurants all over Chicago, there's lots of different rosés on the list and in retail stores all over the place. And this is actually Beaujolais that they only leave a short amount of skin contact on. And that's why it's the pink color as opposed to the darker mm, red. Very uh, uh, delicious. That's there. Very tart. Very bright. Mm -hmm. and, and therefore refreshing during this kind yeah. of weather. Yeah, exactly. You see so many rosés in the store. You're right. Just tons of them. Um, and, and you have one of my favorite wines coming up next. The yes, type of wine. Yes. I don't know about this particular. Well, I hope one. you like this one. This is uh, from New Zealand. It's a Sauvignon Blanc, the infamous mm -hmm. goose. It's. Mm -hmm. uh, very typical New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. It's bright, it's got a great nose, it's got a little of that uh, stinky kind of character that Sauvignon Blanc gets, which is good. <laughs> now, it's what don't it's supposed call my to favorite have. one. No, it's stinky. supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that. It's got this, this really interesting. Well, I always you know, find them a little almost um, citrusy tasting. You know, at, at least that's what I kind of yeah. pick up on. So that's good. That's actually very good. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. It's, <laughs> I'm thinking notes of uh, grapefruit and uh, <laughs> very good. But you're right. You're right. Yes. It really okay. does have Some a citrusy kind of flavor. There, it's very refreshing, and we we drink Sauvignon Blancs a lot. Mm -hmm. You do too. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Well, good, good. So then, a lot of people. So we still drink a lot of red wine, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I happen to love Pinot Noir. This is a Pinot Noir from France, uh, the Seeker Pinot Noir. It's uh, very bright, light. It's not real expensive, but it's got a lot of flavor. A lot of fruit to it. It's about twelve dollars a bottle, mm -hmm. and uh, give it a taste. It's, uh, I think, quite delightful, uh, especially mm -hmm. for this time of year. I like these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of proper <laughs> glasses serve a Pinot Noir and yeah. a Burgundy in. So. It's very, very good. good. It, very I don't know. Good. Maybe it's because I didn't have my Cheerios yet this morning, but <laughs> that's you know, very good as I'm well. I'm not that big on yeah. red. But this is delicious. Oh, it's very I'm glad. And yeah. you know, a lot of people think you never put any kind of chill on a red wine, but that's not true, is it? No, in fact, a lot of the times you go out and red wines are served too warm. So sometimes right. putting it in, if you have it sitting out on your counter, put it in the fridge for 20 minutes before you're going to serve it. Just a little bit, right? Right. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes people even just put it on ice for a little bit just to get the chill. It yeah. takes some of the, when, when red wine gets too warm, it gets kind of, you taste a little too much tannin to it. And it sometimes yeah. can bite and be hard to drink. If you cool it off a little bit, it cuts that a little bit, makes it more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm noticing all the prices are really pretty reasonable, too. Yeah, yeah, well, that's one just thing that half a minute here. So okay. we'll show Sorry. So this is a wine from Italy. That's if you like something a little bit hardier but not too heavy. It's from Massi from the Veneto in Italy. It's a blend of Corvina, Mondanara, and Rollinara, and it's uh, delicious, easy to drink, but got a nice fullness to it. Yeah, very full compared the full to one, the other ones. Right. And as Roseanne said, all these uh, wines are very reasonably priced. Yeah, what well, we brought today only uh, everything's under fifteen dollars a bottle, basically. Well, that's great. Okay, very good. good these stuff. are Ravinia wines. Definitely, right. definitely, it's coming up soon. It's coming <laughs> up. Absolutely. Thanks. Come back anytime. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too. early for me, but this guy loves the wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised uh, Marissa Just didn't teasing. come back for a Yeah, moment right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good to have you. And for another look at these wines for spring, log on to our website, cbschicago.com, a little later on this morning.